today. Three pitches for strikes and 94-95, you know, and you know he, he showed uh, the swing and miss stuff that we know he had. You know, last last weekend was kind of odd. He pitched so well, but didn't have the strikeouts and and uh, swing and miss stuff today. And uh, you know, kind of overpowering. And that's what you need on Friday night. You need a guy that can get you deep in the game. If it's later in the year, he stays out there at least for another inning. But with these conditions and and the, the time of year, we got him out of there with 83 pitches and felt really good about it. Now, you know, offensively, I know you got 10 hits, in, but but that's really kind of kind of scuffing to get it going until there in the eighth. I, I thought we hit some balls really hard. Yeah. I thought three or four balls should have been home runs. You know, off the, off the bat, of the LJ had a grand yeah. slam and and to several balls, but you know, we, we knew it wasn't going to carry today. It was heavy, and you know, their, their pitcher Rand did a really good job of competing after the first two innings. He settled in. We had a chance to break it open. Their bases loaded and one out, and we end up not scoring. And, and then he settled in. So, uh, you know, give them credit. They fought and they battled, and, and they had some good at-bats when it, when it mattered there at the end. And, you know, Christofax 93-94, and, and they had some really good at-bats there. But, uh, you know, all, we found a way to win on a really tough day. Uh, we didn't take batting practice. We didn't take in and out. It was just an odd day. It felt strange all the way through. And, uh, and, and we knew it was going to be difficult. And uh, we just found a way to win. I talk about LJ just real quick. I mean, his defense. I mean, he's talked to Wally about State over the summer. and worked with Coach Gearhart to kind of improve that aspect of his game. He's, uh, he's a better player. I thought he was the best player on the field today. Uh, I, I think we don't win that game without him. He makes the play there in the fifth inning to uh, preserve the shutout for Emerson. Makes the diving play uh, with, with the base loaded and two outs. And, and, you know, barreled two balls up again. I thought he had a grand slam and hit another ball off the wall. And uh, he, he just played outstanding, and he's a better athlete. He's made himself a better athlete with what he's done with himself the last two years. We talked about it last year. He was different. And, uh, I mean, he is a big-time baseball player. And, and uh, you know, right now he, he's one of certainly one of our best players. Um, Coach, going, going back to Emerson, kind of a bigger picture question. I mean, does he kind of remind you of anybody maybe that, that you've seen in the past, Coach? In the past? Well, you know, the guys that we uh, – we're used to seeing every Friday night for Florida kind of reminds me of some of those guys that they've thrown out here and Fioto and Singer and the guys just here recently reminds me of that just you know six foot five and posing uh, confident really good stuff swing and miss stuff uh, with a chip on his shoulder and, and uh, he reminds me a little bit of those guys. And then, I mean, 